So you want to make a glow swirl thing? Well, you've come to the right place. Go ahead. So you want to make a glow... So, you want to make a glow swirl thing? Well, go ahead and go to the soft serve section and get that little swirly ice cream thing. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.9 once again. And we're going to be taking a look at uh, this kind of cool abstract looking thing that I came up with off camera. I figured I would get it started. We have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to get started real quick. I'm going to hit B to box select over top of everything here. And hit delete. We're going to be adding in a cube and a... Uh, lamp later on, but for now we'll just get rid of it. So, so we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift A, and we're gonna search for a uh, a mesh plane right there, and then click that in there. And now what I want to do is hit S X and scale that inwards like that, and then S Y, and we'll scale it like that as well. Maybe a little bit skinnier, like that. Then I'm gonna hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. I'm gonna hit B to box select these two vertices. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get a nice little angle here, like something like that, perhaps. And then I'm going to hit E to extrude this over and over again. And around somewhere around the middle, I'm going, to, I'm going to start hitting S and scaling it up every time. Just so it's, you know, slightly scaled up. And I, I'm purposely doing this at a very weird angle so that it kind of has a nice natural curve to it. I'm also going to start scaling it down now. So I'm going to hit S to scale it down quite a bit. I'm going to move down here, S to scale it down gradually. And then maybe whip it back up at the end here, like that. And then hit S0 on our numpad. And then left click to confirm that. So now if I tab to go out of edit mode, you can see we have this nice little kind of ribbon twirly thing, which looks pretty cool. Um, but what I want to do now is, first of all, I'm going to grab this piece and hit G to move it over. So it's a little bit more like that. I'm going to grab this and scale it in a little bit. And then hold down shift, grab that. The same thing, 0, S0, zero, scale it down. Hit tab to go out of edit mode, and now I want to actually make this this these last two points. I'm gonna pull this up to the origin, so we don't have to mess with that. So now it rotates on the origin. If I double tap R, you can see. I'm gonna add in a couple modifiers to this. I'm gonna add in a modifier over here, and this is gonna be a uh, solidify modifier. I'm gonna bump that thickness up just a little bit, about right there, and then we're gonna add in a subdivision surface modifier. So that thickness is on probably about 0 0.03 for the solidify modifier. And then I'm going to put the uh, render and viewport on probably about 2. And then we'll just hit object shade smooth. Now, cool. We have all this set up now. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift D to duplicate this. And then before we move it, I don't want to move it. We're going to right click to cancel that movement. And then I'm just going to double tap R to rotate it just to a random place like that. Then I'm going to hit B to box select over top of both of these. Hit shift D once again. And then double tap R, and we're going to move it, and we're going to do this over and over again. B to box select, drag it over that, shift D, double tap R, and you can see where I'm going with this. We're going to do the same thing over and over and over again until we have a nice, thick um, kind of thing going on here. I'm going to make sure there's some down there as well. B to box select the whole thing, move it down like that, and we're going to do this over and over and over again until we have a nice, thick um area of these like wisp looking hairs i suppose you want to call them all right i think i have enough of these uh pieces i didn't add too many more after uh, what you just saw but uh, i think this is good the way that it is but it's upside down i want to flip this so i want to hit b box select all that and then we're going to just uh hit r y and kind of flip it around like that until it has about that angle i like this shot right here i think it looks really cool so we're going to do something like that i suppose um, now we're going to add back in our camera, so hit 1 on your numpad to go to the front facing view, and I'm going to rotate this so it's the right way around, um, R, Z, then hit shift A and we're going to add in a camera, hit 0, and then we can go into the camera's view, hit G and double tap Z to move it out, and we're going to move it around like this, instead of moving it like this, I'm going to go ahead and open up this panel on the right hand side, and then go to view, and then check uh, camera to view, and now we can just use the middle mouse button to pan around uh, once again, the middle mouse button to pan around our scene there. I don't want this little point in, so I'm going to kind of move the camera like this, I suppose. Um, and I really think I like the way that this is looking quite a bit. Uh, it looks a lot, looks a lot different than the, than the scene that I tested, but it looks cool because I did all the way around. I did a complete circle. This is only like a piece. I did a complete circle all the way around when I tested this. So this looks really good. I'm going to leave it like that. I unchecked the locked camera to view, so now we can like leave the camera's view. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit B to box select again, 
and then select hold on shift and select one of these hair follicle pieces i don't know and then go to the material tab here and then hit this little drop down and go to material um and then we're going to hit Control l and make links to materials there we go now all these materials look the same they're like a bunch of um waldos yeah okay um we're gonna go ahead and well waldo doesn't look the same as anyone that's the point waldo's different okay They're, forget the joke i said it doesn't make sense all right um we're going to change the base color down to about right there and give it a little bit of a purplish blue tint uh like that hit zero to go back into the camera's view i'm going to turn rendered viewport shading on so we can see what we're doing i'm going to go to world tab and change the color to solid black and then I'm going to turn my overlays off so we can actually, you know, see something. Actually, wait, oh, wait let, me, let me add some lamps first. Hit Shift A, and we're going to add in a lamp point, and then hit G to move it, and then go to the lamp tab, change the power up to like 100, or maybe even higher, to 1,000. Uh, yep, move it about, that looks good. Uh, now, I also want to do one in the back as well, so Shift D, move this behind all of the weird-looking fiber things. Um, move it around so I get something I like. Uh, I think that looks uh, pretty good. Maybe I will have one coming around this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I hit Shift D and move one right there as well. Um, and I kind of want a lamp in the front right there. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. Nah, yeah, never mind. Okay, so I like this a lot so far. I'm going to select one of the fibers, turn my overlays off so we can see a little bit easier. Um, and we're going to go to the materials tab and change some stuff. I'm going to turn specular all the way up, roughness almost all the way down, specular tint all the way up, and metallic all the way up. Uh, or practically all the way up, not all the way up. Uh, maybe I turn the roughness up a little bit more like that, I suppose. Uh, very cool. I like that. Now, I think this might be a little bit too bright. So let's go ahead and actually, uh, might be that one. Uh, yeah, let's give it that one. I'll grab the second lamp, and we will delete that one, which is, where's that bad boy at? There we go, right there. Don't need that one. Okay, cool. So, it looks a little bit better now. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab, I'm just going to pick one of these at random. I want one of these to, to be lit up. So, I'm going to grab this get bad boy right here, and we're going to hit this plus button, and new, and then we're going to change this from principled to emission, and we're going to make the strength 10, and then... Uh, where is it at? Yeah, make the strength 10, and then we're going to grab... Wait, wait a minute. Hold on now. Hold the phone. Oh, that's okay. Okay, I mean, I'm going to get rid of that one. Now we get rid of that one, and now we, it's it's huge. I was about to say. Um, and then we can change this to a color. I'm going to change this to like a purple color like that. And then we're going to go to the main tab here and check bloom on. Turn my overlays off, and this is what it looks like. Um, I kind of want to move it behind some stuff, actually. So we're going to move it back by hitting G um yeah yeah that looks awesome very cool now i'm going to turn on screen space reflections and you can see now we have a very nice like reflection of that on there um and i also i don't like the lighting i just don't i'm going to get rid of the, all of the no not all of them i'm going to get rid of that main point lamp and i'm going to put this one above that's going to be that. The last thing I need to do, of course, to make this look even better, we're going to go ahead and turn on depth of field in the camera. So select the camera, check depth of field on, and then turn the f-stop all the way down, and then make sure the focus distance is where you want it. I'm going to do something about right there. Um, maybe, yeah, about, about right there. Looks good. And uh, I like that quite a bit. Very cool. I'm going to select the lamp, and I'm going to change the lamp color to purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe we'll do two different colors. This will be like a green sea foam, or maybe just green in general. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then I'll turn the brightness of this up. No. Oh, yeah. Let's play. Oh, yeah. Okay, that looks awesome. So now we can actually animate this if we really wanted to. But I just wanted to do a single image. But that looks very cool. I'm gonna leave it all purple because it just looks more uniform. But this is very cool. I uh, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I like this quite a bit. It's just very cool. Um, yeah, that's it. That is our abstract, like, line thing with Depth of Field. I really like, enjoy this. It's very simple, but very unique and uh, cool looking. So I'll see you guys and girls in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.